Hello, it's Paul from Eagle Outdoors here. Just going to talk through, you through um, the Blue Water X Traveller, how to open and close, how to open the awning, and how to put on the fully, fully enclosed annex. So first of all, we're going to open the awning so that we can safely open the roof. You've got to undo the clips. There's four of these clips all the way around the camper. Uh, that's the rear one. And then you've got one at the front as well here, and then two the other side. Now, I know that I've opened the other two the other side already, just to assist me a little bit. Then we're going to release the awning. Um, so we just release the latches there. And there. Push the clip away. And just open the awning halfway. That means that you can open the roof fully um, without this getting in the way. Now we're going to lift the roof. Um, all we're going to do is this red isolator button, switch that on, and then we can press the button to lift the roof. Uh, don't worry about taking your finger off it. Um, it will stop automatically. However, you can stop at any point by taking your finger off. Now we've put the roof up, we can continue to open the awning just by pulling it all the way down and then once you've got it all the way down I advise to take this ribbon out, put it somewhere safe so it doesn't fly away. Now we're going to slide the arm up for support, that slides up all the way, push the button, clicks in place. Second arm up, clicked in place, um, and then we can move the legs up. So the way you're doing this is lifting the handle, pulling the trigger, and putting it up to the point where you want it to be. Same on the other side. Lift the handle, pull the trigger, and put it up. Cut. Once you've got to that point, um, awning pretty much set up for your first stage. Um, you'll notice that you've got some slack in the vinyl, so we can tighten that up just by pushing down slightly and tightening these grub screws up on the arms. And what that does is give you a bit of tension here, um, and that's your first stage on the awning. Now we're going to take the, because we're going to put the full annex up, we're going to take the legs off the camper, unhooked from here, and just put them straight. Now you'll want to peg these down to the ground when you get to this point to make sure that nothing gets blown away. Um, I've got the advantage of, of not having any problems in the showroom here. But all I've done there is just release the grub screw and lengthen it a bit because the canvas has been adjusted and then I can adjust the height of the leg as well. Okay. So just release that grub screw. Be careful when you're doing it because once these legs are out, that can fall back and then just adjust the leg to where you want it. We'll take this other leg off the camper as well. It's easy as that, get it to the height you want it to. So that's nice and level. And then we can loosen this grub screw and push it out a little bit so you've got a bit of tension on that. Don't forget, peg those down. Do the same on this side. And then we can look at our anti-flap kit. Next, we're gonna put on the anti-flap kit. So we've got these two sections each side. Um, slide these together, like so, and then do up the grub screw. I take off the, uh, the clamps, so these external clamps, you just undo these here, take the external clamps off. I find it easier to do that um, than put the, clamp, then put the anti-flap kit on and put the clamps back on. And then it clamps the canvas nice and securely.
So just as you can see from that, nice and easy, put the anti-flap kit on and then you'll need to loosen this grub screw, slot it all the way in and you'll end up with a little bit of a gap there but we can close that up with the clamps. Now I've got a nice size ladder here for health and safety. Um, a little two or three step ladder will probably do it as well though. You can take those with you. We also do whole box ladders. Make sure you've got the right clamp for the right side and then just pop the clamp on. Make sure it's clipped in place and clamp it down. And I'll show you when we put this bottom one on, we can actually just slide it up a little bit so that it covers that gap up. And then what you've done is you've inadvertently closed that gap up and that's your anti-flap kit on. I've taken these sections off the side walls um, and I'm going to feed them into the track that's connected to the camper. Okay, so I'm just going to slide that in there. Um, I'm doing that now so that it's ready for the side wall to go on. And also for the draft skirt, because this section of the draft skirt pops on there and connects to that with Velcro. So it's nice and secure. And then we're going to put the rest of the draft skirt on. I'm going to put the sunshades up first uh, before I put the side walls up. Generally, I find this easier because then you've got, you can get to it. Um, and your sunshades are these light grey uh, canvases and that will deflect the sun off of your side wall uh, to keep it cool um, and also more waterproof. Um, I've laid out all the canvases so where the side walls, front wall, side wall go. Um, I've laid them out on the floor just so that I've got a reference as to what goes where makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, but you can always label them up as you go along. Just taking these, uh, this section off one of the side walls and we're gonna feed this into the sail track on the side of the camper first, make our life easier. So we'll just feed that in like so. Um, and that, for this front one as well, also attaches to the draft skirt. So you can see that attaches there and then the, the side wall attaches to this Velcro section here. These sunshades, uh, we're going to feed through. You've got two channels on the anti-flap kit, one on the outside, one on the inside. Uh, if you put the sunshades on the outside channel, you can put the side wall on the inside channel. So you feed that through like so. Um, it's also handy to have this gap in the middle now because that allows you to do this without too much bother. You can also, you can put these on before you put the anti-flap kit up if you want. Um, but you can also do it this way. A couple of ways of doing it. And then once you've done that, you can just fold that over the top for the moment while we deal with the side wall. I've taken the top section off this uh, side wall here. Um, so I can feed it in. Same as the sunshade. I'm going to feed it into this inner channel. The same technique. So that we've got that sitting nicely like so. Just worth noting um, when you put up this top section um, to get a, a really nice finish here undo your elastic um, pieces here that, that actually pulls the roof in um, and that enables that to come out a little bit and then the velcro will attach a little bit better you'll get a better seal. Um, if you've got any little loops like this just make some adjustments to the canvas and what I'll do now is grab this side wall and zip this side wall on. So you notice we're going on the outside of the arm. Zip it on. Nice, nice good quality zips on these. Um, if it feels like it's catching, just be a little bit careful with it. It's obviously catching for a reason. They're good quality zips. Um, 
but uh, they're notoriously difficult to repair if you do damage them and they're not covered under warranty. Coming all the way down, zip it all the way. And you can probably see how the Velcro attaches there should give you a relatively gapless seal. Front wall, very simple. Um, I don't even detach this. You can detach the top section from the front wall um, like all the others, but I don't feel like you need to. Um, I just slide it on. And you'll notice I haven't put any poles in yet because uh, the, the awning is supporting it all the walls so far so no poles to be fighting with and then once that front walls in connect the zips up and this is on the inside of this leg <coughs> All the way down and this is the point where you'll find out if your legs high enough or not and you can make adjustments to the leg lift it up so that your canvas isn't dragging on the floor and it's the right height Again, the top section for the side wall. You know, once you've done this a few times, you can probably leave these sections already uh, attached to the anti-flap kit so you don't have to feed them in every time. And then you just put the anti-flap kit up and just let them go. Okay, you just pull that nice and tight so you haven't got that little loop in the middle. Gonna move this ladder back a little bit. And then you can get that velcro nice up against again. Undo these will really help you. Um, if you undo these bungees, just don't forget to uh, do them up afterwards, but that allows this canvas to come out a little bit and closes the gaps up. Okay. And then we just zip this side wall on to here. I don't even need the ladder for this point. I'm actually going to go over this side of this because I know we're going to be on the outside of the arm. And then you can see all these, these tabs here are designed um, to go around the poles and get this all as nice and tight as we can go. And then slip that zip in there.
So we've got this all on without any poles in so far, and then we'll put the support poles in for this side. Okay. As you can see, there needs to be a bit of support there for that pole. And then this, all this Velcro closes that gap up there. So now that side wall's on, we can attach the Velcro here. And you can see, if you just get a nice, tight attachment of this Velcro. There. And then what we do is use a pole on the inside to support that. Two poles for uh, the side walls, the one with a hook on it, and then the slightly bent pole, the one with a hook on, goes in here, clips in, and then this one, you've got some Velcro tabs here, what I do is just put these on first to hold the pole in place, and then extends down the bottom, And then extend at the top and you'll find this this little latch here doesn't it doesn't sit over a, a, a circular pole it just hooks in there as you can see from the close-up push it right to the end and then this pole clips onto it and gives you that support for that side wall it's a very simple but very effective way of getting a nice bit of support on that side wall so you've got space for your kitchen so that's the annex uh, and the full awning full awning and annex put up um i've just opened up the sunshades here all this is is um two poles with the guy ropes pegged down to the floor um spend a bit of time getting the canvas right pegging it to the ground uh, getting it nice and taut i can't peg down in here unfortunately so i can't get it as taut as i'd want to um, and also the Velcro, just make sure that's all straight. And you can see you've got a door on this side, a window here with a fly screen as well. Um, and then at the front here, you've got your full size window, fly screen at the top, protection at the bottom, another door, and then another window on the other side. 